I'm Kimberly Kay with your entertainment report from MidHudsonNews.com. It's going to be a happy Father's Day for Kanye West. Kim Kardashian gave birth to a baby girl on Saturday morning at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. The 32-year-old Kardashian reportedly had West by her side as they welcomed their daughter into the world a month early. Kim's due date was July 11th. Kim got sick last night and had the baby early, a hospital source told Us Weekly. But they're all doing great and amazing. The 36-year-old West and Kim, both first-time parents, have been dating since April 2012. But on December 30th, 2012, West announced that his girlfriend was pregnant during his Atlantic City concert. Kevin Clash, the Elmo puppeteer, who resigned amid allegations that he sexually abused underage boys, won three daytime Emmys for his work on Sesame Street. Clash won his outstanding performer in a children's series at the Creative Arts Ceremony on Friday night. He shared trophies for outstanding preschool children's series and directing in a children's series, giving Clash 26 daytime Emmys for his work on the venerable PBS show. He played Elmo for 28 years before quitting last November. Clash's lawyer had said that the related lawsuits filed against the entertainer are without merit. Well, a New Jersey woman, widely known as the Tanning Mom, we haven't heard from her in a while, was sent to a detox facility after allegedly being intoxicated at the Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport. Metropolitan Airport's Commission spokesman Patrick Hogan said airport police were called to the Delta ticket counter Thursday afternoon because of an intoxicated woman. Hogan says Patricia Krenzel was not arrested but taken to a detox facility. He didn't know how much time she'd spend there. In April 2012, Krenzel was accused of child endangerment for allegedly taking her then five-year-old daughter into a New Jersey tanning booth with her. A grand jury later refused to indict her. Well, a production company making a documentary about the song Happy Birthday to You has filed a lawsuit in New York over the copyright to it. Good Morning to You Productions Corp says in Thursday's federal court filing that Warner Chappelle Music has been collecting Happy Birthday to You licensing fees for years. Warner Chappelle claims exclusive copyright to what Guinness World Records has called the most famous song in the English language. But the film company disputes the copyright, saying the song is dedicated to public use and in the public domain. It asks the court to count thousands of people and groups who paid Warner Chappelle music licensing fees totaling more than $5 million as part of a class action suit to make the song free to use by all. In local entertainment news, well, it is Father's Day and there are lots of activities happening in your towns. You can check out our site here at MidHudsonNews.com for all of the information. Log on to MidHudson News Daily for your entertainment reports. I'm Kimberly Kay.